how to set up mix it up bot for your twitch stream or youtube stream or trover stream my name is tree and i'm extremely support videos stream smarter no harder i also do stream on twitch myself on twitch.tv slash tree link is down below in the description so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to mix it up and then here we're gonna click on download download installer now it's gonna download and we're just gonna click on the file make a new profile accept next we're gonna log in with our twitch Authorize back to the bot. We can also have a bot account, which if you make an account on Twitch, you can call it tree bot like I did. You can also connect that one to your Twitch. The only downside is if we click here right now, it will say tree and we need to log out and log in on our bot. I'm gonna leave this for now. So I'm gonna not connect my bot account because I don't remember the password and I don't wanna go through this whole, I forgot my password thing right now. <laughs> All right, so next, we've got multiple things here. It says how it works. So Mix It Up uses commands and action structure for everything throughout the app. Think of a similar recipe that you follow to make food. So if you make pasta, you need to heat water, add pasta, wait minutes, and then strain the pasta, and then you have the pasta. So you'll tell them, oh, I want to switch a scene. What do I need to do for that scene? And you need to like have that in here. Or I want to have a timer, and we have to build up everything. We need to tell it how to make a timer. Mixitop is only desktop application, so your settings and data only exist on your computer. This is important, so if you stream somewhere else, you need to make sure that you export the data and import it on a different computer. Therefore, we encourage users to set up automatic backups for your settings to ensure you always have something to fall back on in the event of any issues. We can have weekly or daily. Daily is a bit much for me, I think. Weekly backups. Set the location, so where do we want to save this? Let's just grab my desktop for now. And this is the places we can get support for this bot. Mix it up is open source, meaning that people can see the source code of it. All right, this is my Twitch chat because I've connected it. We can see who is in the chat right now. These people are in the chat right now. They're not all people, some of them are bots. Probably most of them are bots, to be honest. And we can type something in the chat as a streamer and if you have the bot account connected we can click on here and click on the bot and then type something as the bot as well what it does right now it's already connected to your twitch but we can still go into the settings here have general settings auto login current accounts which means that you don't have to log in your to your twitch the whole time but if there's an update you might need to log in again if you don't want to have data tracking, you can click on this one and then they won't track your data. You can set a different language for this bot. You can use a different streaming platform, YouTube, Twitch and Trovo. And your streaming software, for me that's OBS, so I'll just keep that in OBS. And default audio output. I do have the Wavelink software from Elgato, so I'm going to do that in the sound effects channel but for you it might be your headphones or anything else where do you want the sound effects coming from this bot be played teams and colors you can basically make this dark mode um, and you can have this color be something else like purple have it you know look nice you can also choose one of these teams right here and have the chat options here you can hide bot messages you can have like better twitch to tv and stuff like that in it Need to restart for all the settings. We can see this is the team we just set up, right? We set dark mode with this color. But all the chat options basically reflect on this chat you see. So these chat options, it's the chat you see in the bot. All right. Then we have commands. Here we can have options for commands. You can have all the commands be whispered and stuff like that. So basically every command option is in here. You also have alert options in here for follows and hosts and stuff like that. Notification settings, do you want a sound if a message in chat appears, for example, or if you get a whisper. You can make people regulars if they watch a certain amount of hours. Overlays, if you copy this and paste this in your OBS's browser source, you have your overlays go off right there. You can have a dead counter, for example. You can have things trigger through hotkeys like that. And there's some more options in here. So we have a button for dashboard here. We can clear a Twitch chat if some but he says something weird, we can clear that right here. We can also disable the chat. Let's not do that right now. <laughs> and we can pause all the commands being used in chat. More options here on the left side. Channel. Options about a channel, for example, our stream name, the tags we use, the game we play. This is how we see the chat. If you ever get lost, just click on here and you can see the chat again. Commands. Here you can set up multiple commands, but also custom commands. 
events, timers, action groups. So these are all the things basically you can do in Mix It Up and there's so many. I think I'm gonna make some videos about how you can set these things up because they might be a bit confusing to set up, especially if you just started with Mix It Up. But in this video, I just wanted to show you guys how to set up this bot. Make sure that if you connected your bot account, so you made a new account on Twitch and called it your name with bot behind it, make sure that you write slash mod space the name of that bot account because then that account is going to be a moderator in your chat and it can do a lot more and won't get banned for spamming links, for example. There's going to be more videos about Mix It Up. What do you want to learn about Mix It Up? Leave, leave it down below in the comments because I want to know what you guys want to learn because I know a lot of you want to switch to Mix It Up or considering switching to Mix It Up. So it will be good to know what kind of things you want to do on the bot so I can explain them to you. In the meanwhile, if you want to grow on Twitch, you can do that right there with that playlist. If you don't want to miss anything, subscribe here to our channel and subscribe here to my gameplay channel because we're almost at a thousand followers and that is enough for monetization so that's really cool i'll see you there